Hello, uh, this is Jahan Azizi and I'm going to talk about the KDAX battery analyzer. But before we do that, we all are familiar with the cell phone and cell phone batteries. I have two different Apple iPhone batteries. One of them is a newer one and one of them is an older one. Um, they both supposedly have the same battery technology, so I, I charged them yesterday and I traveled for 14, 16 hours. At the end of the day, one of us at 9%, the other one has 45%. So although the same charge it started with 100%, but by the end of the day, the discharge was a lot more on the older one versus the new one. And really that's the idea of the battery analyzer, because what it does, it tells you where the battery life is gonna be. Because 100% charge doesn't mean they're going to last the same. So what this battery analyzer does, basically, you can't do many things with it, but overall, it charges the battery and analyzes it to see how much life you have in it. There are tons of different batteries in the hospital, different type, different shape, different form, that requires to maintain them. So almost today, in, if you go to a hospital, every instruments, life-saving devices, surgical instruments, uh, monitoring that they use for portable patient monitoring, they have some battery either as a main source or as a backup and secondary. So when they have those, uh, usually today battery manufacturers say there's an expiration date on them. They call them date stamping. You buy a battery and should last for X amount of time, usually 24 or 36 months. And what they do after that, most hospitals pitch those. The issue with that is battery one and battery 100, they did not get used at the same rate. So when you pitch all of them, and FDA came up with the point that about 50% of those batteries are really good and you shouldn't pitch it. So what happened with this, it actually gives you true data to analyze them, cycle them, give you a percentage. And once you have that, then you can decide as an institution, should a life-saving device that has a battery in it be at 80% or something else that you use for lesser life safety issue be at 60%. So you can make that determination. So the advantage with this is it analyzes the battery, gives you a value, and based on that value, you can make a determination. One of the issues with the batteries is that there are many manufacturers and all the manufacturers that they have, they have different batteries, different connections for different devices. So what this battery analyzer allows you to do to have adapters and these adapters will allow you to adapt to any type of batteries. Indeed, they have 3,200 battery an uh, adapters that you can use for various adapters. And the operation is pretty simple. So for example, if this is a life pack battery, you can just plug it in. And in this case, once you have it in, you put two batteries in and go through the process and analyze the battery and gives you some value and you move forward. Some of the batteries that are generic, so you can use one of these adapters that you put a plus on the red and minus on the black, and you can analyze that battery. And so the other advantage of these, these are although you have one type of battery, but you can add several battery codes. They call a C code. Each of these holds to up to 10 different C codes that you can charge or discharge batteries for various rate, for various type of battery, lithium, lithium ion, lead acid, and all the different type of batteries. So really that's the basic function and feature of this battery analyzer. So uh, obviously there are a lot of battery analyzer and charger in the unit. Again, one thing different between battery analyzer and battery charger in the market is that the battery analyzer does a lot more than charging. Uh, charging, for example, if you have a date coding or cycle analyzing, you use those, but this analyzer is, one is, uh, have, they have 35 years of experience in this process. It's a really simple device to use. You plug it in, you turn it on, and then 
you start the, the programming. So the program, again, as I mentioned, that is based on battery types. Again, there are at least 3,200 different of these adapters in the market. It doesn't mean that you have to buy all of them, but once you go to a hospital, you find out, for example, they have a striker, physio, or Medtronic, or what have you, they may end up with half a dozen of these adapters. But once you, they purchase the adapters and say they buy one or two of these units, then they, they can plug these in and they start programming. So the advantage with recycling the battery versus date coding or time stamping or cycle counting is that it actually gives you true values. And based on those true values, the hospital can make a determination of how they want to, to go with it. So and again, the batteries are not cheap. Batteries vary from $50 to $500 each. And if per FDA you throw away 50%, that's a lot of good battery goes in the landfill that we really can avoid that by recycling and extending the site. Even this, uh, the cycling, for example, they said 200 cycles. But we know that if you analyze them, they could go up to 500 cycles. So you can extend the battery's life by two or three times. Again, help with green initiative, help that the we don't have to throw away a good battery and reduce costs and uh, make sure that the hospital will save money by utilizing the batteries over and over. The other thing is that, so if some of the batteries say that 200 cycles or two years, but over the use or the environment, they may not last that long. So on the other end, you can find the battery, what the condition is, and pitch it before they use that. So as we know, the OR time is really valuable. Sometimes 60 to $90 a minute. So if you have a uh, device that the battery is bad, they go bring another battery, the surgery get delays, cause more infection, and cause actually the hospital's money by delaying the procedure. So overall, is a good tool for saving money, for saving hospital time, and then saving the environment. So obviously with this being a lot of complicated technology, and a new technology, resources are really important. One of the things KDEX has done, because uh, the, the company is in Canada and they sell worldwide. So what they've been doing, they've been creating a lot of documents. We have a lot of print documents that we can send to you. And also we have video, a lot of video. Actually, they start from really elementary, from how to open the box, step to, by step, how to program it, what item do you need to buy, we have all those available that we can send a link to you or we can point you to those documents. So uh, the resources are tremendous. There are tons of resources out there that we can get them and provide them to you. So another thing on this device is that it's service. So once the customer purchase one and they have any issue with them, Healthmark will send them a loaner. They will send that back to Healthmark. Healthmark will repair it. And once it's repaired, we ship it back to the, to the user and receive our, our loaner back. So everything is one-stop shop, and we help more take care of it from A to Z for the customers.